Hello, my name is Venashi Nyebana. I'm a refugee from Burundi, and I fled the country since 2011 uh, because of the political instability which was happening in my country. Then later, I realized that it's a bit challenging for refugee women and girls. So we started uh, a group, uh, we co-founded a group called Mirror Group Network, uh, which is a women and youth uh, refugee-led initiative that we do uh, what we do, we do uh, we do advocate for women education and girls, and also we do entrepreneurship skills. We teach women, women and youth, uh, our tailoring skills. We give them uh, art and craft skills, uh, and also through that uh, organization, we have supported women to make sure that they have skills uh, to support themselves here in Uganda, and. Um, we found to talk about uh, women uh, being active when it comes to digital uh, technology. I said that uh, for me, it, 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 this was, it has become a space for me to be the voice of the voiceless. Because most of the people, as for us women, we find that we don't, we don't, have, mu we don't have much attention when it comes to digital technologies. Uh, for instance, for me, I may give you an example. Uh, the first social media platform that uh, I had it was Facebook, and it was my husband who supported me to create it. But I may say that I'm on Instagram, I'm on Twitter, I'm on LinkedIn, and those other three apps, I'm the only one who, who used my knowledge to create them. Uh, and also, I may say that the benefit of this digital uh, technology for women it has helped me uh, to, to advocate for women. It has helped me to to, to increase the voice of the voiceless. Uh, imagine, imagine this, uh, this situation of refugees. Sometimes we find that we don't have space to talk. Whereby we can, we can, we can express, like we can, we don't have space whereby we find that we can have uh, a say. But having, using these uh, social media platform, you find that it's very easier for us. But I want to emphasize on the side, the other side of refugee women and girls. Uh, remember, these refugee women and, and girls, they are facing a lot of challenges, not only when it comes to digital uh, technologies, but in general, we are facing a lot of challenges. We are find that we are the very middle of the family. Uh, we are supposed to come back from where we are coming from to look for survival. We find that we are reaching out for having a lot of activities that we're supposed to handle in the evening. So when it comes to digital technology, it is very, very worse for refugee women in Uganda. First of all, we don't have enough money uh, to, to, to acquire or to access to internet or maybe to access to, to the computer, to the smartphone, to the smartphones. Uh, and you find that it's very, very challenging because we don't have enough time to, to use these gadgets. But you find that once I reach at home, I cannot have much time to go back to the social media platform to see what is what are the news which are trending, or to see those news, they're going to help me to see what can I do in the community. But you find that, or maybe you're having stories to share, but you don't have time to go back to the social media platform to make sure that the entire world they know what, what we are thinking. You find that we are having in the community, this is a live example that I'm telling you. We are having uh, many refugee women who have good stories that they can share so that the whole world, they can learn from them maybe, or maybe they can learn lessons from their stories. But And they're having access to WhatsApp or maybe smartphone, but they don't know how they can share stories. I myself, that I'm telling you this, I'm so passionate when it comes to social media platforms. I like writing, I like sharing my view, I like I like uh, writing small articles, but you find that I'm having that uh, I'm having that uh, I'm having that problem of how I can like I can share all those small small stories that I have because I feel like maybe I'm not enough. The stories that I'm writing are not enough to publish. Do you get those are some of the challenges and you may you may never know. Maybe these small, small stories that I'm having that, that can impact the life of people. But you find that we are lacking skills. I'm trying my best. On social media, I'm having various platforms that I'm in. 
whereby I share information whenever I get, you know. This is, you know, this because I said that this world is digitalized, everything in it is becoming online. Once you don't have smartphone, you know that now you are lagging behind. It won't come for business, we find that you are lagging behind as refugee women. We are the people that we are doing these hand skills businesses. We are doing tailoring, we are doing art and craft, we are doing catering, you know. We are baking nice, uh, nice um, uh, uh, bindazis, nice, you know, cookies, you know. But you find that we don't have that courage to come and we, we market them on the social media platform. I'm part of the Mirror Group Network. We are doing tailoring, we are doing art and craft, and these kind of activities have helped women and girls, refugee women and girls, to to to, to sustain themselves here in Kampala. Uh, another challenge is about the own gender-based violence. Sometimes we find that, ah, uh -uh, as Bella, I cannot put that one in there on the social media platform. People are going to attack me on the social media platform. You find that I don't have that courage. You find that whatever I'm putting is just some of the information that uh, general information that refugees can benefit, but I don't have that, that courage to go and I convince someone in the community once I have a story, can I put it on the social media platform? You never know. People may like that story and they may want to come and hear more about you. It's like this uh, social, this digital technology, it is, it is for only men. It is not for women, especially for us women uh, refugees. Because if I'm to tell you this, this social media platform, as people who have a lot of followers, once we use it wisely, it can impact the life of many million people. Because we have story which can impact a lot. We have a lot of uh, best practices that we can share on social media, but we don't have that confidence. Uh, I, I'm, I, I may say that I'm lucky because I've been in various platforms like workshop, conferences, where I always talk about refugee women, I always talk about uh, women's rights, especially refugees. And this one, this platform has given me the confidence. Right? Uh, I may give you some recommendation. Uh, the first is that um, as the world is evolving, this digital world, uh, we need uh, we need to put to make sure that there are community centers. These community centers they are going to help women uh, and women and girls uh, to get information, to get knowledge. Be uh, I'm saying that because uh, I can give you an example. In before before the lockdown, as refugee and the urban centers in Kampala, we used to have. Uh, an urban center, a community center. That community center was well equipped. It had uh, an internet cafe, it had a tailoring workshop, it had many, many activities whereby women who doesn't have skills or girls or maybe youth, they could come there and if you feel like you want to learn tailoring, you could go and you learn. If you feel like you want to do art and craft, you could get someone there, your fellow refugees could come and be, as, uh, support you in different skills, or maybe if you don't have access to a computer, or you don't have access to internet, you could go there and do stuff. You do uh, Google, whatever you feel like you want to know. But unfortunately, after the lockdown, we find that there is a long journey for these women and girls to access those centers, that center, to make sure that they learn, well, they, 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 they have access to internet, they have access uh, to other digital skills, the hands-on exposure to, to to technology. Also, once we are having exposure, like I say, if I'm having exposure to the camera or maybe to a computer on how I can use the computer or maybe words or maybe Excel, uh, from there it is going to build my confidence and as well as uh, uh, build my interest, build women interest and confidence. You know, so that's where. I'm, I'm emphasizing only this kind of platform, like Oopsie, uh, so that, you know, this kind of platform, they share key information to fellow women. This kind of platform, they are the one which are inspiring such young women like me. It has given me skills, confidence on how I can use this social media platform. And that's why I'm saying that once as women refugee, 
uh, and girls who can be uh, empowered by these digital uh, technology skills, I may tell you that we can impact positively in the community. Thank you.